I was traveling down here last night. And it was a beautiful night. You could see all the stars in the sky. And I saw one star. And it was moving across the sky. And I made a wish on it. And then it turned to land in Shannon Airport. <laughs> and it was at that point I realized Nana isn't getting better. <laughs> but then again, she has been dead for 20 years. <laughs> so I guess it's about time the penny dropped. Tell you a few things about myself. I recently became a father. <laughs> well, I say I became a father. I had sex with a woman. I'm brilliant at sex. Rarely ever miss. I'm from Limerick. Normally gets a better response in Limerick. Yeah, a few years ago they tried to rebrand Limerick City as Fab City. After there's a spate of fabbings in the city. I myself was a victim of fabbing. They got me where it hurts, right in my dress sense. I suffer terribly from arachnophobia. It's not so much that I'm afraid of spiders. I just don't want to see them allowed to be married and be happy. <laughs> the thing that gets me about Christianity is where they say, have you any room at the inn? The at the inn part is completely superfluous. I wouldn't go to a hotel and go, have you any room at the hotel? They know it's a hotel. I know it's a hotel. And it's that sort of an orthodox syntax and that'll be the rock on which the church perishes. <laughs> Blowjobs. <laughs> Have you heard of these? Whoever thought a blowjob was an appropriate name for fellatio was doing it wrong. I imagine, imagine now, that if you had a mouth full of penis and you were to blow, it would make a farty noise and destroy any sense of intimacy in the room. I'm getting too old for blowjobs. I am getting older though. I recently hurt my shoulder carrying other comedians in a lineup. <laughs> Feel a bit of a twinge there again today. And this morning I decided I'd go for a thigh massage. I thought being wanked off by a stranger might distract me from the pain. <laughs> mm. Is there anything sexier than women? If there is. I'd like to have sex with it. <laughs> Seems like everything is on the internet nowadays. No matter what it is you're looking for, all you have to do is go on to yahoo.com and Google it. <laughs> Even love and sex is on the internet nowadays. God be with the days when you had to type 531-8008 into your calculator. <laughs> Turn it upside down and use your imagination. Apropos of nothing, there's a woman in my town, and her name is Esther, and all the kids call her Esther the Molester. <laughs> because she molests them. <laughs> if you're going to molest children, Esther is a fantastic name to have. Because if your name rhymes with molester, nobody's ever going to believe the children. I'm going to finish in a joke. <laughs> I always like to finish in a joke. Since these two lads, let's just call them John and Edward, two fairly innocuous names in their own right. And both of them were suffering from the big C, dyslexia. <laughs> Spellings are atrocious. And they were driving along in their Volkswagen Bora, and as we all know, Volkswagen Boras have a notoriously low sump. And they came to a humpy back bridge, and they went over the humpy back bridge in the Volkswagen Bora with a notoriously low sump, and they tore the arse out of it. And neither of them thought much of it, because neither of them were mechanics. They were dyslexics. 
reinforcing the plot point. And they just kept on driving. After a while, one of them turns to the other and goes, can you smell petrol? He says, I can't even smell my own name. <laughs> Folks, if you enjoy that joke, there's plenty more jokes available at www.yahoo.com. <laughs> now, I realize my comedy is a lot like Marmite in that it's delicious. <laughs> so you should have all enjoyed that. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Stephen Ryan. Keep it real.